Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dona Tapajska International, new artisan educator here and today we are going to be playing with some chrome new art, absolutely perfect for a Christmas time, have a little preview of it in here. Very simple and easy salon friendly design and I hope you really enjoy it, so let's start. Super quick designs for this one we are going to use 174. I really love this red guys like it's absolutely amazing and this is the most popular red our clients are choosing as well and um, you know with reds you need those kind of amazing coverage and this one does have those amazing coverage and it's so easy to apply like you know it, you can really get it nice and neat around the cuticle area and and it's I, I cannot uh, describe how satisfied I am with this color, honestly, guys. And I'm not only saying it because, you know, we, we do sell those uh, gel polishes. I do really think this way. Um, you can also see it, how easy it is to apply it at on um, in this tutorial as well. There are some other colors which aren't as amazing. And sometimes I tell you like, oh, this one is like, you know, three coats or like this one needs two coats, but this one is... It's really nice in a one coat and for the red it's really rare uh, to happen. So that was 174. And then on the one, just to show you the difference in between, I'm going to apply a black. So that's 183. Again, I do really love that black, um, especially in a case when we have to do some cat eye and we need those back, uh, black background. Um, or even now for a chrome, when I want to have a black background, and I don't want to spend too much time applying like uh, several coats uh, of the product. So nice and thin layer over and then give it a cook. Reds and blacks, I always like to give it a couple seconds extra cure uh, just to make sure they are really uh, going to cure nice and properly. And then we are also going to need those red chrome and the high shine no wipe top gel. So the first one should be ready and we are going to place those top coat in there. For a chromes you want to make sure your top coat is really nice, it doesn't have dust particles and you know guys when we're painting the uh, in the salon when we have finished filing and everything the dust is always flying about so I do really take my time and this top coat application like making sure it's everywhere and then I will go and check it like under light how it is reflecting uh, the light as well okay so let's me put it in there 60 seconds cure for a chromes to to work nice and then top coated this one as well they are kind of really simple Christmas designs and to be honest with you in a salon like I would do it uh, so first maybe week of December, second week of this December, I'm usually doing like those kind of more advanced designs. And then when the Christmas madness comes in, I do really have not as much of the time. Um, so I'm, I'm liking those kind of very simple um, and quick designs, which still look amazing, like and clients love them. Okay, so this is those kind of um, quick designs. So first of all, because we have to only apply one coat of the gel polish and then the top coat over it and it will look already amazing with the chrome. See I've got dust particle on this one 
and I need, really need to get rid of that. There we are. So the first one is ready, 60 seconds. Oh gosh, I hope it was this one. If not, it will be not fully cured. So I'm just grabbing a scoop of those red chrome. Apply it in, in there and then start rubbing it in. It looks amazing over the red. Like it's really mm, vibrant, I would say. Like absolutely fantastic. And you can see it. Like I've got still some dust particles of the chrome. You need to get rid of them by massaging it really well till all those loose particles are gone. The next red tip, that was black. And then just wrap this one in. Absolutely amazing. You cannot go wrong with the red chrome for Christmas. You know, even just like this, it looks fab. Now I'm going to show you over black as well. To be honest, I'm kind of curious myself and uh, the difference to see which one I like better. It's me testing what I'm going to give to the clients, <laughs> you know? Okay, so I can see the difference. Let me show you that as well. It's yes, it is darker. So you can see, no, it's a chrome, it's hard to see. You can see it is darker. I will just go like this, different angles so you can guys see it, the difference as well. Um, yeah, I think for a Christmas, I love this one over red. And uh, normally I was using the chrome either on the plain color. I'm going to actually show you as well, like how it will look on the pink. Let me do that. So I've got some pink in here. I don't have enough, but just to kind of give you an idea. So it will look even lighter, quite nice as well. Um, and this top coat have been on for a few weeks already. As you can see it, it still works. Uh, like even after a couple of weeks. But let's move into the next part. Oh no. Let's move into the next part of the design. Like we'll do it quite nice and simple. So for a chrome, I like to give it a couple scratches. Because we are using the no wipe top gel, which is almost like a mirror. Uh, the product is not going to stick in. The next top coat is not going to stick in properly. I also love this chrome because um, when I clean it, it doesn't come off. Um, so any kind of chrome which doesn't come off when you clean it with the brush is a better quality uh, chrome, which is going also to last better as well. Now, the white French gel is a must-have for a Christmas season, uh, definitely. And what I'm going to do it on this one is just outline it with white first. This will probably prevent the um, chrome of uh, coming off as well. So outline it with white. You can see it how I'm picking it up on a straight brush, like I don't, I want those line on my brush. And then finish on the top. Just because it's on the edges and when we paint it, we might smudge it by the mistake. I do suggest if you have worked so hard on these lines, uh, give them a quick. I don't like this one. So just touch it up and then cook it. Same on this one. Okay. 
it's a, such a simple way of decorating the nails. And you guys got lots of experience because we have been doing those pop art nails trend, which involves the similar outline. Again, you can touch up if you're not happy. And then give it a cook. And then just the same on the last one. I like to keep the designs in the same theme. Look how I'm also placing my brush. So I'm trying to paint with the entire brush, not only with the tip, because then it can go raggy. And then give it a cook. Okay, first one is ready. So let's start the first uh, design. Now I need to clean the brush because as you can see, it is loaded with the paint. So it's very hard to control it. So just a clean wipe and then clean the excess of it. And you can see it, I've got the tiniest amount of the product there. We are going to paint the nose the head some ear like a, almost a letter C, neck, a leg, belly, One leg, and a second leg, and then antlers. Give the body a little bit more volume. And we can paint also the other leg, which is just behind it. couple of the dots with the dotting tool. Do 
do it some small and some large ones. And then give it a cook. Okay, another Christmas design. Do a nice line. And then paint some bubble. We want some bow in there. I quite like to paint the heart shape, even if it's a wavy one, just so it's kind of goes into the heart shape. A swirl. Oh gosh, this is terrible. You know why, guys? I've got too much paint on my brush. So you can see the, the brush was loaded with the paint and the tip wouldn't twist it as nice as it should. Let me show you the other one. So you can see it it is easier now, kind of neater. So if you find that you're struggling with something, sometimes it can be the case of having too much product on. So the brush doesn't bend as nice. And then waves. Give it a cook. And then we've got the third one, last one. We will go with the snowflakes, why not? So we are going to do them with the dots. And I think those dot snowflakes are pretty easy. And then take your brush and go through the dot. So this way you get a really nice shape. Okay, and then do another dots. Much closer this time. And drag through them. You can see it as really the easiest way to paint the snowflake, which looks really nice still. Okay, and then the dots. I'm not going to use my good brush for the dots because it is extremely damaging for the brush, but I want the dots to be tiny, so I'm using some sort of old brush. 
there is no way I could do them this size with the dotting tool. Very easy. Snowy. Design. This one is ready to be top coated. Actually, they are ready to be top coated. So you can see they don't take as long time. They really don't. So just apply the top coat. And usually the, when we apply the top coat, the chromes become even more chromy. So I have to just clean it. Absolutely amazing and quick to do it. Those microscopic reindeer. <laughs> Oh no, I scratched him. No, I thought I attached some chrome into him. Oh no, I destroyed the entire cheap. Oh gosh, he has pink face now. And I've got the chrome removed. So the options I have, remove it and start again, which is not an option for me. <laughs> because it's such a time waster. What I would do is I would take a silicone tool. Guys, this is going to be really difficult to achieve, but if this disaster happened to you, you will know how to fix it. <laughs> Extreme small amount of the chrome, like make sure it doesn't have a flying bits and pieces. And then just fill up this chrome. It was called a fussiness over one spot of the glitter. I should just leave it. So now I have to fill up the chrome in the places where I have removed it. So close to his face, very risky. Yay, almost, almost. Sometimes fixing the mistake can take longer than actually starting again. This isn't the case, but close to. And the next step is to grab this brush. I don't want to go with the blue scrap again because I will destroy it. So I will just touch it up. I kind of cover the, the chrome, which I have messed it up. And then let's cook it. Apply the top coat in the other time and that will cure the other tip and get it. I love this one. So simple, so pretty. Like definitely something to, to do it to the clients. And look how chrome becomes even more chromey and shiny when we put the top coat over it. Like I think it's even prettier. Yeah, so nice. And then top coat this one. And that's as quick and easy Christmas collection finished. I will be able to show you them all. Again, so you've got a different ideas how to decorate your client's nails in those very busy season time. So the Christmas bubble goes in here. Look at this chromy look. The other one is cooked as well. I love this one, like so simple. Like I, I think it's kind of almost elegant because it's just snowflakes. Personally, I think I am, I'm, I'm the biggest fan of kind of snowflakes, to be honest, on the nails uh, for a Christmas because it goes even after Christmas. I don't want to touch this one because it didn't cure yet properly. But that's what we have created today. There we are. I will have to show you the shiny part and then the painting part. Shiny? Painting shiny. It's visible that's in the mi on the middle is the, the darker one, darker is it? One. Okay. It's like not darker, but depends of the shadow 
Was it red? Depends. Is visible red or black? Ah, depending on the angle, you angle, can see yeah. black or red. Yes, actually, yeah, you could. So I think this, the, the red idea is really awesome. So that's another tip for you. I hope you have really enjoyed this tutorial, sending you glittery hacks and bye for now.